happy Easter guys and happy Sunday we wanted to wish you guys happy Easter before we started this week's video of week 10 of our garden growth <laughs> all right let's get into this week's video happy Easter y'all yeah. another week so we have some progress and things that I keep forgetting to show you guys or what I'm doing but <clears throat> all the stuff that we planted last week are growing we got some watermelon basil here's the jalapenos my lettuce is growing and the strawberries are, it's okay. My lavender is finally growing. We got little Daisy showing up now. My basil's doing great. I got a, well at Walmart, they have little raised garden beds. They're a little tiny, but they're, it was 50 bucks. We built this. I'm gonna put flowers in it and put it in the front porch area. Let's take you guys to the garden area. Yes, we have another garden bed. Planted the spearmint and look how great my zucchinis are doing. Oh man, this lettuce was doing great this morning. I have, out of all those cucumbers, I only have four left. This one's still struggling but we'll see I almost killed this mint I'm hoping by moving it in here it'll be fine tonight I'm gonna come out and water it some more here's my tomatoes and then I put some thyme and basil in between them it is very peaceful I still got my flowers going on I bought these little water things to help keep these flowers alive. Look how pretty, yellow and pink. Oh, and these snapdragons bloomed. Last week they weren't, but that's a pretty white, orange and white, your girl's favorite. That flower is past, but we got new bulbs on these ones. <sighs> Marigolds are doing okay. They're not getting enough water, that's what I think. And then the pollen is really trying to kill this flower bed. I should probably get like a net and put it over it. But we got growth in here for flowers. It's still pretty full. My lilies are doing okay. That was full bloom this morning. I think this wind is killing it. But that's still thriving. Those marigolds are holding up. Look how much this jasmine is growing. We're thinking, if you know, please let us know if these are going to be flowers or just more growth of leaves. I'm hoping they're flowers. Well, looking at this, they might be flowers. That's what I have going on for week 10. I don't got much else going on. Oh, my mom bought me a whole bunch of seeds for flowers to plant. I just need to get more soil. I'm trying to stay out of Home Depot. It's been taking a lot of my money <laughs> getting this stuff started. I don't think I'm gonna buy another garden box just yet. But if I am, I think I'm gonna buy another tomato one. I like the height on that one. <clears throat> a lot. I'm gonna have to get some sticks for the tomatoes. But yeah, um, another thing is, is we downsized our chickens. Two of Becca's friends both took five chickens each and one of them took a coop. With Becca getting a lot of activities, it's getting hard for her to take care of a whole bunch of chickens. Kept the big coop because that is plenty enough and in case there's days where Becca can't get out to them in time, they all can be down there. They're not going to be really cooped in there. Yes, she does have one that has a gimp leg. It happens. I'm not sure where the other one is. Maybe it's in the, the hen house. 
but their little area is doing fine. We gotta figure out where to put her little canopy for them. Mom's African violet is doing great. We did have a casualty on one of our inside plants. Dolly knocked it over because she wanted to go in, go in the window. That's life with pets, I guess. But if I plan on doing anything else, I'm gonna try to grab the camera. It only took me all of like 10 minutes to <clears throat> transfer the tomatoes. But that's what I got so far going on. So it's Sunday. We're doing our normal thing here where we all uh, get together, make breakfast, just try to enjoy the day, start our day off on a good note, start our week off on a good note. So our yard is, uh, we don't really talk about it much, but we're slowly starting to buy a little bit of sod, a little bit at a time. And then out here, we're trying to get some more grass to grow, kind of get it, or weeds or pretty much just green. We want green right now. You know, that's our plan for this summer is to just get this green. <laughs> As you guys remember, in old videos, we used to have the pool over here. Now it's Katie's Garden Center. And I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but right out there, it's a lot of little greenery growing. And it's just amazing for us to see right now. Super excited about that. We haven't used Katie's Blackstone in a while, so we cleaned that up today, and we're making bacon on that. And that's amazing. Getting some good smells back in this back porch. Katie and Becca in here doing a little bit of a uh, prep work. Just grabbing the camera, getting a little more filming in, that's all, you know. We're gonna do a biscuits and gravy casserole. I suggested it to her. Don't know if Katie gave you guys an update on her stuff out here, but we are seeing some growth. That's exciting. Henry, ready for breakfast? <laughs> right, Bubby? <laughs> Chloe, waiting for anybody to drop anything. Supporting this really cute family on YouTube called Life with the Nielsens. We got them playing in here, supporting them. I'm not seeing my other two. This is how we usually get them. They like this window. We set up this little blanket or sheet right here because they like to lay out here and look out this window. Especially on days when Katie gets to work from home. Since Danny is taking you all around and telling you and showing you what we're doing on this beautiful Sunday morning, I figured I would explain to you how I make biscuits and gravy casserole. I don't know if I've showed you guys before, but here's what we do. We grease the pan and then take the biscuits, and then the biscuit is going to be the bottom layer. I normally make biscuits, but this time I just felt lazy and wanted to do something quick, so we had a can of biscuits in the fridge. Then we're going to pour the eggs, then we're going to pour the gravy, and then we're going to put cheese all on top of it. Don't mind Becca, Becca in the background making all the noise. So I have the gravy going. Becca has the, do you have it all scrambled? Yes, but there's a fork in it. Oh, that's fine. So I'm gonna put you down here and show you guys how we do it. But first, let me stir my gravy so it doesn't get too thick. I'm gonna just pour it over like this. Can I have a cutting board? I'm gonna put a little pepper. Cause you know, we're already having pepper gravy. Pepper's the best. Now we're gonna do Eek. some salt. In this instance, I would like to have my sausage gravy a little runny. That way it's not all just absorbed when you're baking it. So this is perfect consistency that I like for the gravy. I'm just simply waiting for Becca to get the cheese shredded. I'll layer the gravy. And I'll put the cheese on, and then we'll bake for 30 minutes. I have it on 390. You could do whatever setting. But I do 390 for about 30 minutes. I 
The biscuits normally only take like 10 to 15 minutes to bake without all the stuff on and the eggs. You just never know. So I'm just waiting. I just rather have it cooked just a little bit longer. That way the bottom is a little crisp and perfect. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Now I just pour. That's why you're putting bowl. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to just cover it all with cheese. Now we're going to put it in the oven. Looks delicious. I'm going to back up. <laughs> That's a hot oven. We'll check back with you guys in about 30 minutes. For you guys, it'll be like a second in this next clip. So here's my cute little dolly. Just caught her on the counter. Now she's jumping down here acting like she's not doing anything wrong. But the moment I leave the kitchen, she'll be right back up here trying to eat the cheese or whatever else she can get her little paws on. Look, <laughs> see? Laying there waiting for the coast to be clear. And like I told you guys a second ago, or earlier in the video, how we set up this area. You see Katie working at her desk. And just like I explained, here's our little Bronco. My love. Our lovely little boy. Laying on his little little bed that we made him. Looking out the window. Sweet boy. But this is what a day looks like with Katie at home. What's our little baby? 30 minutes later, and our casserole is ready. There's the beauty. All looking gorgeous, ready to be devoured. Well guys, it's a couple hours later, and a Home Depot trip later. <laughs> and, We're gonna show you guys, we're gonna pot some potatoes. And the two new plants we just bought. It's called a butterfly flower. And it's supposed to bring in butterflies. This is just where they're hanging out right now. Until I figure out where I want it to go. I may put it over there, where the tomatoes are. Got more soil. I'm going to take the lime tree bucket and put the potatoes in there. And then Becky wanted a rose bush. And we saw these really pretty roses at Home Depot. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I got these red potatoes from Walmart to start. flower. It's mom's flower. She loves African violets. So now she has two of them. Then I'm going to take this little baby vine and put it in there. And that's what it looks like. We, oh crap. 
played is more moving around. Becca has all of this raked and cleaned up. Well, it could be better, but it was worse. And now we have mom swing over here. Our table our neighbor gave us with uh, one of the flowers. Just means I need to go buy more flowers over here. I am just labeling the potatoes and all the stuff that I have. Showing my wife something cute. And that's the cute thing. <laughs> 